I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Gas and Go with Snow. All right, today, special treat for you. All right, I know you see what's behind me here, AC Cobra. Now, in the 60s, this was the king of the track, king of the road, all right? So what you would have a Cobra, a lot of guys, especially pilots, the pilots and test pilots, what they would do is they would buy Cobras because this would haul buns down to across the tarmac, get to the airplane, and then they would take off and fly a gazillion miles an hour. Well, today, special treat for you. This is a Cobra, but it's not what you think. Most Cobras came with a 427 under the hood, and that was the epitome of muscle back in 67. So, all right, my man Bill here, first of all, thank you for taking the time to do Absolutely. this, because this is an incredible machine. Ladies and gentlemen, this bad boy, what power is this thing? So six and a half power, uh, powered by a Tesla S a performance unit, uh, and a full battery pack from a Tesla performance as well. Okay, so now, for those of you who are not familiar with electric horsepower, it is not the same as gasoline horsepower. Exactly. So, a 600 horsepower unit, yeah, 600 horsepower. But the, what he's not telling you is this thing probably makes 1,200 foot-pounds of torque, mm -hmm. a pound-feet of torque, and that is an incredible number. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this thing is probably like an eight-second quarter-mile car if you can get traction. Exactly, so, if you can grip it. Yeah, which is always all right. Challenge. So yeah. let's look under the hood yeah. and tell me what we got going on here. Yeah. So we have our uh, information, it's a full battery pack, so uh, 16 battery packs. Okay, so you got 16 Tesla modules exactly. to power it, and, and that's what, 90 kilowatt hours? 90 kilowatt hours. Okay, so exactly. how, the first thing people are gonna ask you is, what kind of range you get? How far will 90 kilowatts take a car this late? This can't be more than 2,800 pounds. Yeah, so we've done over 400 miles with this car, easy. 400 yeah, miles you, on one you charge? Drive, if you drive in the streets, just putting around, getting donuts yeah. or coffee. Right. Yeah. Of course, if you drive a higher performance, you're going to go down to about 250, right. 300 miles. You're going to, you know, burn out and, yeah. and uh, pull out. So, okay, so the important number there, he's at 400 miles if you're babying it. Exactly. 250 miles if you're driving like this car should be driven. But here's the key. Who's going to drive their American classic <laughs> muscle car more than 300 miles in a day, right? So, charge is not an issue. Range, not an issue. So, if we come along here, look at the interior. This is very Spartan, but I noticed you have the digital display. What does that display tell you about the, the, the so, car? Yeah, so the display gives you uh, the, uh, what you need to know about the car. The speed uh, and the temperatures in the car, you know, the mm -hmm. motor and uh, the battery pack. And uh, we went with a very uh, simplistic and subtractive design. So the car itself, is such beautiful eyes, this most recognizable American muscle car oh, yeah, totally. ever built. So, yeah, this is muscle car royalty. All right, but now I got one more thing for you. Yeah. Okay, so I noticed that it's very understated, but I want you to zoom in on that steering wheel. There's a whole lot going on on that steering that's wheel. What do we have there? there? So that's a custom mahogany steering wheel. Yeah. And what we've done, we've integrated all the controls of the car, turn signals, low beam, high beam, uh, hazards, and the shifter for the transmission, the DRN, yeah. all in that steering wheel. So you don't have anything else on the dash. Yeah. You keep the dash clear. That may be the most impressive <laughs> <laughs> feature you. on the car. Thank you. Okay, so if we come all the way to the back here, all right, I know we're not gonna be able to see it, but tell me what's under here, what powers the car? So it's uh, it's a Tesla S performing unit. So for those of you guys familiar with, uh, it's, it's a large, uh, what we call the large from Tesla, and we've embedded that motor to the suspension of the car. So we had to fully uh, replace and redesign and re-engineer the back of the car yeah. to take into that large uh, uh, unit. All right. Uh, and I noticed you got the EV Cobra license plate. Got to have the EV Cobra license plate. Fully legal uh, in California. It's made yeah. by a company called uh, Scorpion EV up in Temecula. Yeah. And Scorpion EV in Temecula. Scorpion EV in Temecula. Okay. Uh, and, uh, we're selling full turnkey cars uh, to the end customer. Okay, yeah. Scorpion EV and Temecula. Scorpion All right, so there you go. If you want one of these guys, turnkey car, Scorpion yeah. EV and Temecula. So check that out. And hey, thanks again for joining us on Gas and Go with Snow. Bill, man, Thank I appreciate you, you. Thanks appreciate for taking it. the time. This is probably one of the best EV builds I've ever seen. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, hey, see you next time on Gas and Go with Snow.